AliExpress has a bad reputation for carrying cheap, worthless junk. So a common question I get asked is whether buying from AliExpress is worth it and is AliExpress safe? Now, if you buy from AliExpress, will you get scammed with poor quality merchandise and lose your money? Now, as with any online marketplace, there are always going to be unscrupulous sellers who are out to make a quick buck at the expense of the customer. But AliExpress wouldn't be successful if it wasn't a great place to buy online. You just have to know what you're getting into and take the proper precautions when shopping on the platform. This video will teach you how to buy from AliExpress safely without getting ripped off. Now, what is AliExpress? Well, AliExpress is an online marketplace owned by the Alibaba Group that allows independent small businesses and factories in China to sell direct to individual customers worldwide. In fact, AliExpress is known as the eBay of China. And like eBay, AliExpress offers a huge variety of products that span over 10,000 categories. Now, because AliExpress is based in China, where the cost of labor is so low, products on AliExpress tend to be significantly cheaper than anywhere else in the world, including the United States. Now, people often get confused between Alibaba versus AliExpress because they are owned by the same parent company, but they offer completely different services. Now, here's a summary of the characteristics of Alibaba versus AliExpress. Now, Alibaba is a directory of Chinese wholesale suppliers that help businesses find manufacturers and factories in Asia. You can't buy anything directly from Alibaba. It's not an e-commerce platform, nor is it a marketplace. Instead, Alibaba is primarily a searchable database of Chinese manufacturers. Alibaba is meant for bulk purchases and you cannot order single unit quantities of most products. Almost every Alibaba customer places bulk orders directly from the factory. Now by placing orders with the factory directly, you can customize or personalize your products for private label selling, which allows you to create a unique product that no one else is selling online. Now when buying from a factory in Alibaba, you have to purchase a minimum order quantity, which means that you pay upfront for a bulk quantity of your goods. And oftentimes your initial investment in inventory can be in the thousands of dollars, but the unit price is significantly cheaper than the prices you'll find on AliExpress. Also, unlike AliExpress, you can't order directly through the website. Instead, you must submit a request to your supplier stating what you want to buy and agree on our price. Most correspondence with Alibaba suppliers occurs offline as opposed to on the platform. Meanwhile, AliExpress is an online marketplace where consumers can buy products directly from small businesses in China. And AliExpress is set up almost exactly like eBay, where you can buy products as is from merchants in China and you make your purchase directly on the platform. Now, whereas Alibaba is meant for wholesale, you can purchase single unit quantities on AliExpress. And like eBay, everything is bought and sold exactly as shown in the listing and cannot be customized. In other words, you can't private label goods bought from AliExpress. However, because you can buy goods in single unit quantities, you don't need a lot of money to buy from AliExpress. Now, even though prices on AliExpress are low compared to the rest of the world, they will almost always be higher than if you bought a larger quantity through a supplier on Alibaba. In addition, you can't ask for a free sample on AliExpress if you want to examine the goods for quality before you buy. However, AliExpress offers buyer protection, which mitigates the risk of receiving poor quality junk. Now, it's also important to note that almost all goods bought from AliExpress are shipped from China, which means that it'll take weeks, if not months, to receive your goods. So basically, if you're looking to private label products for sale, use Alibaba because the suppliers you'll find on the platform will be willing to make customizations and create custom packaging for your products. Now, if you're looking to buy products for personal use or for drop shipping, then go with AliExpress. The low upfront investment required is attractive for new sellers, and you can use AliExpress drop shipping to get started in e-commerce with very little money. Now, the million dollar question here is AliExpress safe. Contrary to popular belief, buying from AliExpress is 100% safe. In fact, shopping on AliExpress is safer than eBay because AliExpress offers a buyer protection program that covers every purchase end to end. AliExpress guarantees that if your product doesn't arrive on time or as described in the listing, you can get a full refund. When you make a purchase on AliExpress, buyer protection is automatically applied. You are protected no matter what you buy on the platform as long as you make your purchase directly through AliExpress. Now, in the event that your product never arrives or it's a complete piece of junk, here's how to take advantage of buyer protection. You first contact AliExpress support to report the problem with your order and the seller will be notified and has the option to rectify the situation. If the seller is not willing to help, then you can open a dispute. Now, if the seller does not respond to the dispute, then AliExpress will return your money. Once AliExpress resolves a dispute in your favor, you usually get your money back within two weeks. As a result, you are protected from getting shipped junk merchandise or getting outright ripped off. 
but the dispute process can sometimes drag on while going back and forth with the seller. But bottom line, it's completely safe to buy from AliExpress. Now, I'm often asked also, is AliExpress a legitimate company? Well, AliExpress is a legitimate marketplace owned by the Alibaba Group, a publicly traded company and one of the largest e-commerce companies in the world. Now, the main reason people question the legitimacy of AliExpress is because they have unrealistic expectations. Now, when you buy from a retail store in the US, every product goes through a rigorous quality control process before the product is placed on the shelf. Now, with AliExpress, you are often buying direct from the factory and there's very little quality control. As a result, it can sometimes be a crapshoot what you'll actually receive in the mail. There's no recognizable brand and the standards of quality are often different from what you expect. Even worse, you might get sent counterfeit or knockoff products in the mail. Incidentally, this is why AliExpress dropshipping is not a great long-term business model. The combination of quality control problems, long shipping times, and customer support make this an unattractive business model to run. But that being said, there are many great products to be had on AliExpress. You just have to wade through the rough to find the diamonds. Now I'm also asked, is it safe to buy electronics on AliExpress? Now because of buyer protection, it's technically 100% safe to buy electronics on AliExpress. However, the overall quality of the software and the hardware will be worse than in the United States or Europe. The standards of quality for electronics is lower in China, and computer devices are often buggy and not designed to last the test of time. Now, with all that in mind, here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to make your first purchase from AliExpress and what to look out for. Now, step one, you need to create an account. Go to AliExpress.com and click on the sign up button. After you sign up and confirm your email address, AliExpress will usually give you a coupon for new users. I got $2 off here, which doesn't sound like a lot, but remember stuff is cheap on the platform. Step two is to go shopping. Shopping on AliExpress is a lot like shopping on eBay. Just browse for what you want and click add to cart. Now there are a couple things you look out for before you buy. Remember, anyone in China can sell on AliExpress, which means that there are businesses, factories, and just random people peddling their wares. You should buy from sellers that have shipped many orders and look legit. All right, so specifically here are the stats you should pay attention to when shopping on AliExpress. The feedback rating in the seller. Look for an average feedback rating that is above 4.5. The number of orders a seller has shipped. Make sure the seller has at least 100 orders shipped and preferably more depending on the cost of the item. The number of reviews. The product should have at least 100 reviews, but it depends on how cheap the item is. If you don't mind taking a risk on a cheap product, the number of reviews doesn't matter. Now always check the AliExpress ratings. Now the ratings are just guidelines and will mitigate your chances of receiving complete junk in the mail. In general, the more money you are spending, the more stringent your requirements should be with the seller. The next step is to check the trademark database. Now, to know if a product is trademarked on AliExpress, you must check the USPTO trademark database to avoid legal troubles when buying and selling AliExpress merchandise. Just go on the USPTO website, type in the brand, and if the brand appears on the website, then that brand is trademarked. In general, most name brand merchandise sold on AliExpress is counterfeit. As a result, if you see brands like Nike, Apple, Gucci, the product is almost always fake. If the product has an obscure brand you've never heard of, check the trademark database to make sure you are not violating any trademarks if you plan on reselling the merchandise. Step four is to check the delivery times. Remember, most products are shipped from China, but sometimes if you're lucky, you'll find an item that can be shipped from a local distributor in your country. Now, in my experiences, this is pretty rare, but there are many higher volume listings that fall under this criteria. Now the handkerchiefs that I'm buying in this example here are shipped out of China, and here are the shipping options. Now let's say the date is October 27th, which means that the shipping time is around 28 days for the cheapest shipping option, but I can get my hankies within two weeks if I pay a little bit more. Overall, I've seen shipping times as short as two weeks or as long as two months. It just depends on where you live and the speed of the seller in getting your products out the door. Now when it comes to buyer protection, the delivery guarantee always last to the last day of the published estimated delivery date. Now in this example, if I don't receive my hankies by November 23rd, I can get my money back. Step five, check the payment methods. Once you're ready to check out, click on the checkout button and fill out your billing and shipping info. There are three main ways to pay on AliExpress, credit card, PayPal, and iDeal. Now most of you probably have no idea what iDeal is, so let's just stick with PayPal and credit cards. Typically, I pay by credit card because I get points and have the option of disputing a payment in the event that AliExpress buyer protection redemption just takes forever. No matter whether you choose to pay by PayPal or credit card, you're protected either way. And between AliExpress buyer protection and PayPal credit card, there's practically zero risk of outright fraud. Now this next step is probably the most important one of all. You need to check your order right away. 
Because shipping from China takes a long time, you might forget about your order by the time it arrives, but as soon as you receive it, you must check for quality problems immediately. Remember, buyer protection only lasts for the duration of the delivery window. Now, in this handkerchief example that I just gave, I have until November 23rd to file a dispute. So if it arrives exactly on November 23rd, I have to file a dispute that same day. Make sure that you examine your goods with a fine tooth comb and take action immediately if you are shipped junk. Otherwise, you may have to resort to filing a dispute with PayPal or your credit card company. Now, overall, AliExpress's poor reputation mostly stems from unrealistic expectations. As long as you aren't expecting superior quality products, you should be happy with your purchase overall. Remember, you will not find well-known and recognizable brands on AliExpress, and if you do, chances are it is counterfeit. The best way to think about AliExpress is that it's similar to shopping on eBay, except all the products are unbranded. The AliExpress marketplace is composed of a random mix of individuals, small businesses, and factories selling their goods online. Between AliExpress buyer protection and PayPal credit card protection, there's practically zero chance of getting ripped off and losing your money. But quality control can definitely be a problem. After all, there's only so much information a product listing image can convey. And when it comes to shopping on AliExpress, go with your instincts and don't buy something if it sounds too good to be true because it probably is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.